Welcome back to the Beacons Broadcasting Network here at the first intermission. I am John Scudras, very excited to be joined by the New England Hockey Conference's Commissioner Katie Boldvich. And uh, Katie, obviously this season a lot of hoopla was built into UMass Boston as well as their other rivals in the region joining this new New England Hockey Conference. Can you talk a little bit about what it was like putting this conference together and how it came to be so soon? Yeah, um, the, you know, the group of institutions that were formerly in the ECAC East just got together. Um, we're looking for a change in administration, change in league name. So it was a lot of fun putting that together, coming up with a logo, all that good stuff. But, you know, schedules remain the same, travel partners, all that you know, all that good stuff, still intact. Yeah, the logo of the New England Hockey Conference, I like it, it's flashy, I enjoy it. Uh, how much really thought does that go into, and how many people are putting their input into things like that, and who eventually gets the final say? Yeah, so um, we had a couple logo designs, we had um, other institutional SIDs kind of, you know, giving their take, giving some rough sketches, and then the league's directors came together, looked at some samples, we went with one, finalized it, got it cleaned up by an actual graphic artist, made it look pretty and that's what you see and enjoy now let the professionals yeah. do their job absolutely and for the new england hockey conference when it was formed there were a lot of built-in rivalries already but it also gives you an opportunity to create rivalries between teams that may not have seen each other as often as they did before talk a little bit about the importance of things like that yeah it's great you know to maintain the history i think of um the former league and keep those rivalries intact like umass boston and babson not far from each other, keep that going. Norwich, always a national power. Um, and then, you know, keeping the non threes intact too with St. A's and St. Mike's, I think is important because they were, you know, one of the original members of the league. It's good to have them on board and keep contributing to um, a very competitive hockey conference. Absolutely. And for all the kids at home who are watching this thinking, I want to be a conference commissioner when I grow up. Talk a little bit about your background, Katie. How did you to get this gig and, and really uh, you know what goes into all that being a commissioner is you know it's it's a lot it's working on a lot of different levels it's being able to resonate with the athletic directors the sports information directors and the coaches as well and really being you know um, the conduit for all those groups speaking together and being on the same page so that's a lot of fun you get to know a lot of good people um, my background dual sport athlete in college division three did not play hockey, um, got into sport administration, loved it, was fortunate enough to get on board with hockey, loved the coaches, loved the sport, fell in love with my job, and just lucky to have a lot of support behind me to, you know, do something great. Two sport athlete, let me guess. Okay. Let me guess. Uh, I don't want to. I want to <laughs> say uh, soccer and softball take a shot. I got them both? Oh, <laughs> look at that. The prophetic one right here on the Beacons yes, Broadcasting Network. Stuff. Well, Katie, I appreciate you joining us here on the BBN. Do you get a chance to, uh, you know, go to a lot of uh, the NEHC games? Yeah, I try to get to. My goal is to see every team in action at least once. I try to get to at least one home game for everyone. That's a little tougher, but so far I'm on pace. Love coming to UMass. Great venue, great games, great kids, so... Looking forward to more good games this season. Absolutely, and we look forward to seeing you at these games, and we look forward as well to a fantastic finish of this one on Friday night. Well, we appreciate you joining us, and I appreciate Katie Boldvich, the NEHC commissioner, joining me here on the Intermission Report. We're going to go to a commercial break. When we come back, we'll have the exciting second period between UMass Boston and Amherst College. <laughs> 